Hey guys, welcome back to another video lesson. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a giraffe drawing. So all you're going to need is some paper, a pencil, eraser, and some colors. So let's get started. So to warm up for our drawing, we're going to talk about geometric and organic shapes. As we know, giraffe's fur has spots on them and they can have sharp edges, smooth edges, and be all kinds of different shapes. So we're gonna go over some shapes that we may use in our drawing later. So some geometric shapes are a triangle, a square, a circle, a trapezoid, a diamond, and an octagon, which has eight sides. There are lots of other geometric shapes that I'm sure you guys know. They can be described as mathematical, they have very sharp edges and angles. Organic shapes are more irregular and can have more smooth edges. So I'm going to take these geometric shapes and try to make them look a little bit more organic. So I just did something that was inspired by these shapes. They're not exact because these are organic shapes. And these shapes are often found in nature, irregular shapes. So these are going to be good to put to practice when we start drawing our giraffe and we start doing our spots. So let's get into the actual drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw the head. I'm going to start over here and do a half circle. And on the other side, I'm going to do another half circle. Now, connecting these two half circles, I'm just going to do a long kind of curved line meeting up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll be erasing later. Just make sure that you're using your pencil lightly. So next thing I'm going to do is continue this line up, curving it a little bit. And I'm going to make the horns that are at the top of the giraffe's head. So in these spaces between the half circles and the horns we just created, I'm going to add some ears. So starting about here, I'm going to curve up like that. And then I'm going to curve this line back down to right about there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now adding to my ears, I'm going to add some lines right here, following the curve of the top line. So next what I'm going to do is around here, I'm going to make a kind of half circle hillish shape. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space right here. I'm trying to make this symmetrical. I'm going to continue these lines down, curving it a little bit inwards. Once I reach more towards the bottom, I'm going to curve outwards a little bit. And then I'm going to make the shape of the giraffe's mouth. So curving outward, I'm going to curve back inward. And I'm going to round this out. So now moving on back to our half circles here, these are going to be eyes. So I'm going to curve inward here, wherever makes sense for your drawing. Same on the other side. And I'm just going to add a line on the edge here as an eyelash. And I'm just going to shade this in because it's going to be black later. So next, I'm just going to erase this line in here. 
So for the nostrils, I'm gonna start around here where I raised my line, and I'm going to curve upwards like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, trying to make it symmetrical. And then I'm just going to curve inward, leaving a little bit of a line here. And those will be our nostrils, which later I'm going to color in black. And then just for a little mouth, I'm going to do a line down the middle here and curve upwards on both sides. Now I'm going to draw the giraffe's very long neck. So starting about here, I'm just going to do a line, a short curved line going inwards. And then about here, I'm going to do a long curved line for the neck going down towards the edge of the paper. And then starting here where the eye is, the neck will be coming up from behind. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm going to curve parallel to this line. So now I'm going to draw the fur at the back of the neck and I'm just going to do that by doing triangles zigzagged and you'll see what I mean. All that's really left is to add some minor details. So at the top of these horns here, I'm just going to make these lines and that's just a little bit of blackish kind of dark brown fur at the top. And same with under this line for the ears. I'm just going to add a little shading almost. And now for the fun part, the spots of the giraffe like we did in our warm-up with different kind of shapes. I'm just going to use that as inspiration to put my spots all over. So right over here, I'm going to do a kind of diamond-ish shape. And I'm just going to put spots wherever I feel like would look best. I'm also going to add two lines here on the neck. And so just continue on doing kind of bigger spots on the neck for now. So now moving on to the spots on the face. At this part, I'm going to do some smaller spots and I'm going to make it symmetrical on each side. And I'm only going to do two on this side and two on this side, just like that. And I'm going to do spots around this side on the face, just going up to around this line, imaginary line here, right where the eyes are. So now from here going upwards, I'm only going to do smaller spots and these are mostly just going to be circles. And I'm just going to stop right here. I'm not going to put any spots at the top here. And now just to add something to the background, starting about here, I'm just going to add some branches because the giraffe is high in the sky, it's eating. So I'm going to do just a line, a curved line like that, and I'll make it a little thicker by adding the line parallel to it. I'm just going to add some leaves at the sides here.
and then here going upwards I'm going to do the same thing so just doing a kind of curved shape and I'm making it a little thicker and for this one I'm going to add some extra branches and then again I'm just going to add some leaves to the ends of these branches. Now the only thing left to do is to color it. I'm going to color mine and I'll be right back to show you guys just in case you want a reference. So I'm back from coloring and this is the final product. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to send in pictures of your drawing to Art City, and I'll see you next time. Bye!